I have a gravity flow spring that provides water to my house, and I've been having an ongoing issue with the intake up at the spring getting clogged up and then losing water to my house. And after dealing with this multiple times, I finally decided to redesign the system. With the old design, we had the small dam to catch the water and direct it into our intake pipe. But what would happen is every time it would flood and rain, we'd get a lot of silt and mud that would wash down into the dam and eventually cover up the intake pipe and completely cut off our water supply. For the new design, I wanted to create something that would allow all the small rocks and silt and mud and sticks and leaves to wash over the intake pipe. That way, when it rains hard, instead of it clogging up the spring, it will actually be more or less self-cleaning. I decided to 3D print the spring water catch box in white PLA. I'll post links to these 3D files as well as the stainless steel mesh classifier plates over at lasersaber.org. Check the video description for the link. After the print was finished, I coated the entire box in food grade epoxy. This will also add a lot of additional strength. Okay, so this will be set in concrete with the spring catch up here on the back side. And the water will flow into this and get caught down here into the pipe down to the water tanks for the spring. And the system should classify out the rocks and the, you know, the smaller rocks and even chunky sand so that the only thing that can get into the pipe is water, maybe a little bit of silt, which I think we can just clean out of the tank when that builds up. So to assemble it, you'll put the most fine mesh here on the bottom and they slide in and they have a little uh, indent here to hold them so that they stay in place unless you want to pick them up to uh, slide them back out. So of course the pipe will be mounted into here and then this will connect and run down to the spring. Going up here to the spring, and we're checking on the spring box catch for the first time since put it in last week. And it looks like it's functioning well. Got a little bit here on the top. It looks like the second layer has a little. I don't know that the third layer even has anything. Let's take a part and look. This first second layer a little bit on the third layer and the bottom layer is basically clean it doesn't even really need to come off so that's working well we'll test it in here long term see how it works so far I'm very happy with it At this point, we've had the system in place for a couple months now, and it's working great. We're no longer having clogged pipes at the intake, and everything is running smoothly. It'll be interesting to see how the system performs over the next year or two, but at this point, it's a total success. Well, that's it for this video. Let's all keep experimenting.